going to introduce everyone. My name is Jason Curran. I'm here uh, with Big Apple Basketball, the TBT tournament here in New York City at Fordham University, the $1 million challenge uh, here on Saturday at the Final Four, and I'm uh, honored to be sitting here with three greats uh, from New York City. I'll start. Yeah, uh, as Mr. <laughs> Mr. Garfinkel keeps reminding me this too. So, so you know what? Since it's your special day, I'll save you for last. We have uh, the legendary Joe Hammond here with us today. Uh, Joe, thank you for being here, and it's an honor to have you at this event. Uh, Pee Wee Kirkland, who I've known for a few years now, have had the opportunity to uh, get to know him and also train his son, yeah, right. uh, Pee Wee Jr., and then also uh, Mr. Howard Garfinkel. Well, I'm not sure both of you know, but uh, I'm really happy not only to have him here um, based upon the basketball experience, but today's his 86th birthday and he's here Ooh. spending it with us. And that's a miracle. I made it to that. Believe me. I would like to have that miracle. <laughs> well, you know, the, the, More than a miracle. The, the first thing I'd like to do is maybe oh, talk right. about, you know, talk about, um, you know, some players that all of you have come in contact with you know throughout your careers whether it be on the playing scene or whether it be through five-star basketball actually let me back up a step you know before we get into that um, I just like to even if you know this is you know your first time meeting each other obviously I know you guys have known uh, a little uh, you know you guys are very good friends um, I'm interested to hear you know what you know about Mr. Garfinkel I know Mr. Garfinkel you know knows you as a you know, uh, New York City basketball legends, but any stories, anything that, that you can say about each other before we get started? Oh, what I know about Mr. Garfinkel is that he knows basketball, for sure. And he's always been around the biggest games and the greatest youngsters in basketball. You know, I've always seen him in big events, and he goes to make sure kids get in the right direction. You know, yeah. some kids he get to and some he don't. But he only he ain't patting his feet around their houses and none of that. You know, looking to coach no team or nothing like that. He just want to see a kid going the right direction. Yeah, That's and, all I know about. It. And tell us a little bit about your good friend Pee Wee Kirkland. How far do you guys go back? You go back to Little Bank Center when we was kids. Well, we Little Bank, on 18th and Buster Bryant, you know, and Little Bank. You know, Buster was a big guy. And matter of fact, Buster used to light a cigar. Like all back, red all back, July, Buster used to light a cigar. And when Buster wasn't too happy, you wouldn't see that cigar. We knew we better be picking our man up line to line. Because he said, pick him up! If you don't pick him up, you'd be sitting down next to Buster. You might wait till practice to get off that bench. So for most of your lives, did, were, were, did you guys play against each other a lot? Or did you play together? Play with each other. With each other. We were, we were from the same hood, you know. Okay. and. You come from the same hood. We wasn't like jumping to play with this team and that team, or he got the best team. That team. we just kept playing and made the guys who were playing with us better as we challenged team to team, tournament to tournament. We stayed together as a team, okay. you know? and we grew together like that. You know. Pee Pee, your, your, your thoughts on both of these two gentlemen? Well, this guy over here he says he's not a legend, but the truth of the matter is, he, what makes him a legend is the fact that. You can't mention basketball in the past without mentioning his name. The fact that he's known for being a guru in the game. Like Joe said, the fact that some of the best players in the game was associated with him. So therefore, I, I think what you do, you will never see yourself. I don't see me as a legend, but I see him as a legend. You see what I'm saying? It's almost like, uh, I mean, when I, I actually, you speak for the NBA's rookies every year in Iverson, had mentioned to somebody, well, Peter, I don't understand. When I go play, people say, you bet me. And I said, I don't know. I never saw me play. So I so I know more about him or Joe in terms of his legacy than I do more because I don't really really concentrate as much on myself. But I, when I played with Joe, I know I never seen nobody shoot a basketball until this day on a backboard like this man did. And I'm not talking about Anybody can make seven, eight shots in one. This guy would make 16 and 20 shots in, in the game. And I mean, he was shooting three pointers before they ever had a three pointer. We used to have fun. Mm -hmm. It's like, I know I come down the court sometime and rock some, cross somebody and go to the basket. 
and it was so good with the crowd. Drive me crazy. I'd fake him, bring him back out, go back to the top of the line, and take him and go to basket again, do the same thing. So we was creating instant replay before it ever existed. Before it was a camera. Before it was a camera. <laughs> See, because that yeah. the crowd. And, and, and that's why we have some respect for him, because the crowd was so knowledgeable of the game of basketball back then. Yeah. Now, you know, the crowd, a guy do a fancy move and go to the basket and miss the lead, and they still clapping. Yeah. Back then, you couldn't, you had to finish. You got to finish. You got to take the right shot. I mean, and those are the right move those are things shot. you learned. Yeah. So you did nothing. when it came to guys like him in the game, and me and him never met, I'm, I, it's almost like I'm elated to be here on his birthday. When right. you mentioned on the phone, yeah. But him, I said, what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Because I could I'm just glad. Because, like he said, in his mind, he wasn't supposed to get in. Well, I'm glad you got it so we yeah. could meet. You know what I'm saying? Garfinkel seen them all. Oh, yeah, that's right. All you know of them. Bob yeah. Nunn. Yeah. Mr. Garfinkel, any, any thoughts? But I, but I missed you two guys because I was 30 years too late. <laughs> well, you know what? You missed playing against us. <laughs> you didn't miss us. No, I don't mean playing. I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 right, right. You got it. You got it. So, I mean, uh, so I imagine it would have been you know, good I, enough. I would have recruited you for five star. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and, that, and, I, and that's great. 1930, 40, and uh, yeah, I didn't yeah. start till 66. Sure. Yeah. 25, 30 years too late. Yeah, right. I had everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, you know, everybody. That's right. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Ron Johnson, God bless the dead. He was uh, the first black you had a five star of uh, Ron Johnson. Yeah, Ronnie Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. So we were all about it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. We all played together oh, yeah. with the Reliable. Sure. Walt November's team. That's the right. Reliable. Now, what year was that? Oh, that was, wow. That was an insane right. year. Ronnie Johnson. He yeah. Was, yeah. He was See, a camper first week. We, yeah. First year. See, so many years, Luke on the second one, oh, come out of the side star with That's right. His father's going to love watching this. Harold. <laughs> 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 you mentioned his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah baby. Yeah.